Hi, everyone. I'm excited to share with all of you the release of Dash Bio 1.0. For this, I'd like to welcome Emily Burton, Plotly's product manager of Dash Bio. Emily, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Um, Emily, before we go into the new features that come with Dash Bio 1.0, could you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Dash Bio and why it's so exciting? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as you mentioned, I'm Dash Bio's product manager. So I'm overseeing all of Dash Bio's new components and new features. Um, and my experience really has been within bioinformatics and data science um, within next generation sequencing. So um, Dash Bio is really exciting because it's really a one-stop shop for everything bioinformatics and chemioinformatics. Um, as a former biostatistician, I used to have to use many different tools to be able to like either view DNA sequences or random molecules. And now with Dash Bio, it's all in one single place, which is really useful and very helpful for streamlining data and just streamlining processes. Cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, and specifically now that, that um, we have released Dash Bio 1.0, thanks to your work and the work of your team, um, what's new? What, what can we do with, with Dash Bio 1.1, 1.0 that we couldn't do before? Absolutely, yeah. So what's exciting, so what we focused on with Dash Bio 1.0 was really accessibility and ease of use. Um, so one thing that we did was we incorporated Dash Bio Utils, which was um, a helper package to be able to pass scripts. Uh, into Dash Bio. So now if you want to use it, you only have to install one package to be able to access everything. Um, something else that we did is we wanted to increase, um, you know, usability simply by accessing data. So now all um, components that render molecules can both take in PDB files as well as MMCIF, which before wasn't possible. And now what's neat about it is that you can use different molecular renderings um, within the same file. And that's neat way to be able to see differences and to be able to explore in different ways. Um, and finally, the big thing about Dash Bio 1.0 is that we've come with a new component, JSME, um, which allows you to draw your own chemical molecules um, to be able to show your polarity or to be able to you know, show the bonding. And that's another way just to continue to increase the scientific you know, community. And we're help here to help and we're excited. Really cool. Sounds like a lot of enrichments and enhancements. Um, uh, very excited about it. Um, how how do you see like moving forward? How do you see the future of Dash Bio? Absolutely. So right now at Dash Bio, we're really going to try and focus on partnerships. So Dash Bio 1.0 really came from listening to the community and listening to what your needs were. Um, and we heard that was simplicity. It was ease of use. And so now again, we just want to continue to build on this relationship that we have with you in the community and to build these partnerships to be able to create apps that are specialized for your needs um, and to really just listen and work with you. So that's the future of Dash Bio is to work more closely with the scientific community. Um, yeah. Thanks, Emily. So there you go, everyone. Really exciting. The new release of Dash Bio 1.0. We encourage you to go in the documentation, um, check it out. And Emily, thank you for joining us and for sharing all about Dash Bio 1.0. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Go check it out.